Again, thank you XM Studio Thailand and Toys King for giving me the opportunity to review these pieces. What's up collectors? Welcome back to another episode of X-Men Prototype Review by XM Studios. I'm our statue collector and today we have two versions of the same character to look at. This is 1-4 scale Archangel version A and version B. Let's go check them out. Angel was one of the original members of X-Men. He was later turned and manipulated by Apocalypse into death, the leader of Apocalypse, Four Horsemen. After the events, he has since joined the X-Men slash X-Force as Archangel. However, the mental scars and struggle he had from his past remained. The estimated product size of version A is 72 cm in height, 42 cm in length, and 43 cm in depth. He weighs about 17 kilograms. For version B, it's 65 cm in height, 42 cm in length, and 43 cm in depth, and he weighs about 12 kilograms. The theme of the base is hieroglyphic elements ruined by the mechanical arrow appendages. Archangel has his arm outstretched, trying to break free from Apocalypse. Version A has him in a classic costume with a sub base of the danger room, while version B has him in an X Force costume. Both versions have three different head scopes, which are unmasked blonde hair, a regular helmet, and a skull mask helmet. All right, first off, they are a lot bigger than I expected. You can't really tell from looking at the photos, especially the wings. There are four parts to assemble, and the main wing is just massive. And just take a look at it. Okay, let's take a look at the wings. The wings are nicely done, and it reflects off the light pretty well, give it that metallic look to it. You can see some battle damage on the wing as well, like around here to here it's all over the place but I would like to see more of that apply both bases are the same with apocalypse theme which are done pretty well I like the hieroglyphic elements on the base here and I think uh, the details of the tentacles and the grounds they looks pretty good 
uh, except this part right here. I don't, I don't really think I like it that much. It needs more uh, structure and details to it. The mechanical parts on the base is pretty well done and it's add elements to the story. The details and paint on both costumes is nice. You can see his physique clearly and different texture on the costume as well. Okay, there are lots of shadows and different shades of color throughout. Between the two, I kind of like the original costume better because of the color. It just adds more contrast to the statue, but I have the Xbox version on pre-order. For the head scope, I like the original helmet with mouth open the best. I think it goes better with the pose, I think. My least favorite has to be the unmasked portrait. The hairline is just bad here. Plus the expression on the face is too still for me, but the floor of the hair looks really good. The skull helmet looks pretty good, but I probably won't be displaying them. So after seeing them in hand, I can say that they look a lot better than the photos. So if you have either of them on pre-order, I don't think you will be disappointed. All right, that is it for Archangel. What do you guys think of him? Let me know which version you like better. Also, the next video will be the last prototype review of this lot. Um, I'll give you a hint. It's massive. Thank you again for watching. As always, take care.